So welcome back. Um, we're with Deacon Rory. Deacon, today, September the 4th, we celebrate with Pope Francis the canonization of St. Teresa of Calcutta. Could you help us understand what it means to be a saint in the Catholic Church? A saint really is an ordinary person, just like you and me, someone with human flaws, frailties. Very often saints have been great sinners. And a saint is a normal person who does extraordinary things because they're fueled by the love of God. And that's what a saint is. And we all know saints. They're public and private saints. Today, Mother Teresa becomes a public saint. But all people, because they do them with love. So we shouldn't be intimidated by the whole sainthood uh, business when it comes to the missionaries of charity. Um, with that in mind, what are some suggestions that you would have during this year of mercy, the closing months of the year of mercy, for Catholics and non-Catholics alike in our audience uh, to participate in the work here of the Missionaries of Charity? I think the most important thing to know is not to be intimidated. You don't have to be an expert. You don't even have to have any experience. You don't have to be particularly holy to do this. It's doing very simple things, but doing them with love. The sisters are working. They've got the channel set up for you to do it. All you have to do is join them and work alongside with them, doing very simple things, making sandwiches, talking to someone, visiting with someone, preparing a meal. That's what we do, but we do it with love, and the sisters would invite you to join them. And the experience, I would say, is one of pure joy, and you get a lot more out of it than you put in. So we're gonna put some information up on the screen in a minute, and there'll be uh, the same information on the Archdiocesan website of how to make contact with with the sisters, but uh, what are some more examples of what people can do, making sandwiches, feeding the poor? In San Francisco, there are a number of things. We have the kitchen feeding the elderly poor in the morning, you can help there. In the afternoons, there's feeding the homeless at Cesar Chavez or at the underpass on Sundays. You can do that either by helping serve the food or helping prepare it. In Pacifica, where the hospice is, we need people to help us prepare meals and food for up to 13 people. So if you or your parish or your family want to get involved together as a group doing something, that would be a great help. And just coming to be there and visit with the guests and spend time with them is very important to do. You will have information we'll put up. If you want to volunteer in Pacifica, you can contact the convent there, Sister Maria Concepcion. If you want to volunteer in San Francisco, please call Sister Sharon at the convent at Sodoa Street. The other things you can help in is every year we have the camp for children and teenagers. If you like working with young people or want to be involved somehow helping, we always need volunteers for that. Um, coming to pray with us, coming and experiencing prayer with the sisters is a wonderful experience. How often is that? Well, contact Sister Sharon and Sister Mary Concepcion, but they pray every day. They invite you to enjoy them every day, except Thursdays, which is when they stay inside, but in community, mm -hmm. just with the community. But I would encourage you to join them for evening prayer, if it's possible for you. It's a very beautiful experience. Mm. What, uh, what, what sort of work uh, would be available in the, uh, in the hospice? In the hospice, the work that's available is coming to be and visit with people, and also to prepare meals. We have a lot of people to feed because we have volunteers who help run the hospice. And we have sometimes up to 13 guests. So providing meals every day is something that we need help with. And just simple presence. Just simple presence. Yeah. Uh, that's the most important thing, giving yourself, giving mm. your time, sitting and listening to someone's stories. You might be listening to someone and spending time with someone who hasn't had someone do that for them for years. Mm -hmm. So you're giving an enormous gift, and you're getting something very beautiful back, mm. and it's an experience of pure joy. Mm. So you're obviously inspired by these women and the work they do here. It's, it's clear. Can you uh, offer us some, some closing thoughts, both on our new Saint Teresa, um, who used to visit regularly in San Francisco, and I'm sure some of these women uh, knew her. Uh, and also on the works of mercy that are available to all of us every day. I would. I think the message of St. Teresa and indeed of the sisters, 
Mother Teresa, Saint Teresa, did simple things with great love. And that's what the sisters do today. You don't have to be a trained social worker. You don't even have to have any experience. You can come and do very simple things, but do them with great love. And I would say you can get involved in many ways doing simple things. Seek out what's going on in your parish. It doesn't have to be with the sisters. Many parishes have little soup kitchens or a St. Vincent de Paul clothes drive. Start at home in your own parish mm. with people you know already doing this. But do come and check out what the sisters are doing. We'd love to have you join us. Mm. The other thing I want to mention the sisters have here, which we're very happy and proud of in the Archdiocese, is that we're home to the novitiate for all of the Americas, mm -hmm. which is at St. Paul's Church in San Francisco on Church Street. We have today 20 novices preparing for final vows, and they serve all of the Americas. So we're very happy mm. to house them. So Deacon Rory, thank you so much for being with us today in your new assignment. Uh, you've inspired us on this glorious day when Mother Teresa became Saint Teresa. Thanks again. Thank you.